Voice your vote. A big endorsement came down today in the race for Colorado Springs mayor. A political expert believes it could be the final domino to fall for a voting shift in a historically conservative city. Cardio News Channel 13's Quinn Ritzdorf is live at City Hall to explain how this endorsement could impact the upcoming runoff. Quinn. On these steps this morning, former mayoral candidate Sally Clark endorsed Yemi Mobilade instead of her Republican counterpart, Wayne Williams, in the race for Colorado Springs mayor. A Colorado Springs political expert tells me Mobilade has a higher chance of becoming mayor than all previous non-Republican candidates. Yemi is the right choice at the right time, and the time is now. Thank you. The more endorsements he gets like this, of course, the, the, the more likely it is that that he can you know, get close to that 50 percent mark. That's University Colorado, Colorado Springs political science professor Josh Dunn. He says big name Republicans endorsing Yemi Mobilade like Sally Clark and former El Paso County Sheriff Bill Elder gives the political newcomer a narrow chance at winning the runoff. He can pick up enough of those disaffected conservative voters. He, he might he might he might be able to win the, the, the runoff election. In the general election, Mobilade received nearly 30 percent of all the votes. The rest of the votes were split between a long list of conservatives. Clark finished third with about 17 percent. Dunn says most of those will vote for Williams, but a percentage will go to Mobilade. I don't assume that everyone that voted for me will support Yemi Mobilade. Um, I, I certainly hope that they look to me and say that there's credibility in this campaign. Mobilade hopes he can pick up more Republican votes after the Clark endorsement. We have run a grassroots movement that touches and. Uh, that touches Republicans, that touches Democrats, and touches independents as well. Despite the Clark endorsement, Dunn says Williams still has the advantage. Williams also announced his own endorsements today from five current city council members. I believe the stronger endorsement is from the actual city, current city council members because as a city, we have to continue going forward. Ballots for the mayoral runoff are currently being sent through the mail. Voters will have until May 16th at 7 p.m. to turn in those ballots. Reporting live from outside City Hall, Quinn Ritzdorf, KRDO News Channel 13.